how do you know she is the one or how do you know he is the one uh, is our speaking club that was happening recently who is watching this video first time and wonders what is the speaking club about it is an activity aimed to a help women speak better english and improve their language skills b introduce men and women to each other in a very simple comfortable atmosphere and help them learn more about each other through just general talk it lasts for two hours usually and we have a subject every speaking club is dedicated to one subject in relationship so people not only speak english meet each other but they also learn something valuable they can improve in their relationship so i see only winning points for attending the speaking club so there are links in my um, telegram channel for me and every two weeks i make the speaking club and uh, I invite you to join the speaking club so you can learn more about relationship. You can meet women. If you like somebody, you tell me and I introduce you. And it's very effective because people get to know each other more and you can learn the great thing about relationships. So how do you know that she's the one, right? Well, there were three questions we discussed during uh, the latest speaking club. Number one, how long does it take you to really ask yourself this question. Second one, what are the signs of a couple for you? And the third, how to know that you are compatible. And in order to support my clients and get them more knowledge and in learning about each other and developing their relationship, I have completed a science-based relationship coaching course. So I'm a certified coach certified relationship coach by the matchmakers institute in new york and i have a lot of valuable scientifically proven information so everything you're going to watch from now on on my youtube channel is science proof so continue watching this video and you will learn the secrets that are scientifically proven so number one was how long does it take you to date and go out until you ask yourself whether this is the right person? So my group has answered that sometimes it's like first date and you really like this person. Some say they need to go out on two, three dates to get to know each other, but it's actually as the outcome, not the time that you know each other, but it's actually the depth of your knowledge about each other. It's what you know and what is meaningful to you and you know and this person likes and the person is and then it completes your uh, family love picture. Interesting, hey? More about this is on my individual coaching courses and on more videos in this YouTube channel if you want to learn more. And well, there is a big obstacle in this whole process. Now I hear you saying, I'm attracted, like I desire this woman, she's so sexy, so beautiful. Then comes love or lust question. Do I really just desire her and it's passion, it's infatuation or it's real um, feeling and uh, in order to answer this question i'm uh, giving the link uh, to um, the TED talk of my teacher terry orbach she's a scientist she's a sociologist and she's doing a 35 year long-term research on relationship based on real families and couples and single people that um, are answering the key questions and then she makes the report and then we can relate science to 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 what we do in relationship so please watch uh, terry's ted talk uh, that you can find in the video description and you will learn more whether it's lust or love hey so basically what are the signs of the couple how do you know what are the signs for the couple for you and my group gave various answers because let's say well i do <laughs> take notes when i am uh, talking to my group so 
people speak about emotional connection. And it's on different levels, needless to describe that. We all know about emotional connection. We, we talk about good communication. And actually, good communication is scientifically proven that the way you communicate your expectations in communication are predetermining the success in your relationship. <laughs> well, I don't think it's something absolutely new, but communication is a key thing in all types of relationship. I'm learning it every day, but communication is also about how confident you are of asking what you want. Do you think you deserve what you're going to ask for? Uh, do you think you're worthy of having what you really want to have, but you don't dare to say about this? And that brings you to self-confidence things and to inner self. And that we also work with. We have a professional coach, Irina Bonet. We have a professional coach and psychologist, Alex Oleg Arlov, or Alex Arlov. And we do help those men and women who really want to dive deep into themselves and discover all those important matters. So also empathy. Empathy in relationship is when you know without saying, when you're reading minds, okay? When you know without saying what he means or what she wants and you just do it. That's rocket science to some people. Some people are emphatic naturally and they have hard time really not feeling so deep. So, but empathy uh, is considered a big part of knowing that you are a couple because you, you feel for each other. And trust. Uh, those were things that my group discussed and they said, these are important. We know if, or if we are a couple, if we are emotionally connected, connected, if we have good communication, if we have empathy between each other and we have trust. But how about science? What does science say about this? Hmm. First of all, you are a couple when you uh, want to connect your partner socially within your group and you want to connect socially within his or her group, her group of people, relatives, friends, uh, other people around. When those people embrace you and you embrace them and you can see that this whole system wins and you make this whole system win, then you are a couple. And if you just want to have this person to yourself, you're jealous of your friends liking or not liking, you, have, you are not sure if it's going to work uh, with this person. If, if you're not sure, but probably your friends will speak badly of her or him, then you need to really, really um, rethink and... Um, work on what type of relationship is it, why you don't want this person to be part of your social group. But it is a very deep matter. This is relationship coaching already, but I want to talk about this and I'm ready to support you and guide you through that. And uh, when we do our uh, coaching uh, sessions with my clients, we do um, get into these deep matters and work on them to help them be better and to help them improve it. So when you are a couple, you use we language. It's no longer I like it or I took uh, Olga to, to a nice restaurant. You say, we went to a nice restaurant with Olga. Uh, it's not, I bought her a beautiful um, dress. It's about we went shopping and we did some great things together. We, we bought some nice wardrobe, but it's not only you bought her beautiful dress because when you go shopping, you, it's we, you buy her a dress, she chooses you a shirt or she buys you a gift too. So it's about we, you speak about a couple, it's we, and it is about self-disclosure. Also when you are very, uh, very much in love. When you, you open up, you expose your vulnerability and you want to tell more 
about yourself to this partner. You want to share some of your childhood fears, some of your best dreams, some of your expectations, some of your aspirations. And it's a self-disclosure that is coming really naturally. Well, some people are very, very private and self-disclosure for them is not an issue. But that is already uh, subject to work with Oleg Orlov or Irina Bonne. But you do want to self-disclose at least the serious matters you want to talk about. And interdependence. You are a couple when you do not only plan your life, but you plan your lives together. When your person, when your partner is feeling bad, you see it and you comfort and you soothe the, the, the pain, losing a relative or like having something deep, painful, you help the person go through that. Not only emotionally, but also with real actions that can change her or his life, solving a problem. So, yeah, that is a big part of relationship. Or when you are planning a life change, you do it together. You move somewhere. She moves, she plans her life so she moves with you, or you somehow organize that you do it together. So it's uh, really important when all that happens uh, in parallel. Otherwise, it's good relationship. It's a you know good relationship. Good relationship can be short term as well. We can learn something from good relationship, but uh, it's not so deep into the couple. So I will repeat. Uh, you want your partner to be socially connected to your group. Uh, you use the we language and uh, you self-disclose yourself. You tell your secrets to a degree, yes, and you are interdependent with each other and you really look for um, ways how you can do things together, how you can be together, how you can celebrate great things together and grief about bad things together. It's uh, you just don't perceive yourself as like only I am alone. So the, th the third subject we discussed were how to know that we are compatible. And uh, my group was talking about many important things. Um, we are compatible when we trust each other, uh, when we have, um, you know, um, when we... Um, have good sexual compatibility, when we make an effort to be together, when, um, when we feel good around each other, uh, when we compromise, when we try not to argue and exaggerate. But what about signs? There are three things, really only three things, but they are very deep. When how to know that you are a couple. Number one, trust. Compatible people trust each other. There is a trust relationship exercise and I can share it on my personal coaching session. Um, it's basically very deep dive into yourself, your past, your self-disclosure, your opening up and accepting another person opening up and uh, putting it all together. That's first. First is trust. So if you want to learn more how you can gain trust and how you can develop trust with your partner, come to my personal coaching session and we will work on it. The second thing are similar key life values. As simple as that, five life matters, which are money, attitude to money, attitude and plans about children, existing or future, family, existing relatives, parents. Uh, third, career, your career plans, your career goals, your aspirations. Fourth, um, your faith 
and importance of, of faith in your life and health, your attitude to healthy lifestyle, working out and uh, all related to, to being healthy. So these five things are the key life values, meaningful for relationship. Science says that if you have agreement on these top five, if you think alike, in this top five key life values, you have all the chances to succeed in your relationship. But good news is just only two priorities matter the most. If you both put children and family members and family in the first place, and then, for example, faith, um, then you can agree about other three easily because you find ways to to communicate and you find ways you look at things in a similar way. So discussing key life values is a really essential thing. So my coaching session about key life values and diving deeper into key life values and learning yours, understanding hers, putting it together is one of the uh, big blocks of your success in relationship. And the third thing, how you both handle conflict. You are truly compatible if you agree on how you fight. What is a fair fight? How to fight well? What are the misunderstandings? Actually, one of the members shared a very like, interesting story. He said um, a lot of uh, conflicts in his communication with his girlfriend was caused by you know, translation um, mistakes and... Uh, uh, lost in translation problems and he shared that they were talking and she says I don't like windows every time I wash windows it's it ends with a divorce it's like what so they really had like several days finding out why her washing windows ends with a divorce but funny enough the google translate the word razvod because razvod in Russian is when you clean the window and you see a stripe. So that's called razvod. Also, razvod is a divorce. So uh, this homonym is, is a funny word. And it's another reminder to you that there are homonyms in the language and you can end up... <laughs> talking like a funny monkey um, when you um, are ex putting 100% on Google Translate thing and uh, do not look into the context of the conversation. So, uh, funny enough, the uh, arguments and ability to find compromise and agree really predetermine how strong of a couple you are and um, how you are truly compatible. So we have the whole new subject uh, for our next speaking club and we are going to discuss what is a fair fight, how to fight and what is the real um, way to find compromise with your partner. And uh, my group said about conflicts that it's actually a very good way to test each other uh, to see how you react and what are your triggers uh, learn more learn more how to trust because fight really opens up the nerves that we have the emotional allergies the um, meaningful things that are in our lives but you know we kind of when we live on um, uh, uh, on the like, usual mode, we don't think about them. And some things can really uh, kick us and we burst with, with something. But what was it? Ah, it was my pain of this and this and that. So we learn about each other and we test each other. We also agree to disagree. Because with European culture, uh, let's be fair, uh, conflicts are viewed as a bad thing. People fight and they, yeah, you look, you feel sad. But according to the scientific research that was done by my teacher, the all couples, 100% of the couples who had no argument within the first three years, all of them ended with a divorce. They lived well. They didn't even fight. 
and they divorced. So, the science says that you need to argue, you need to stand your point, you need to learn how to argue. Not only argue for the sake of arguing, but learn how to fight and it strengthens your, your relationships. And does um, and how does a fight strengthen your relationship? You, you learn <laughs> as you fight and you learn the rules of the fair fight. So we are going to talk more about it in the next speaking club. So if you want to uh, join our speaking club, you can, you can see links in my uh, Telegram channel for men. The link to the Telegram channel is in this video description. Uh, also, uh, follow me on um, YouTube channel and watch more videos about it. But I am giving you just the tops of the tops, just, just the general subjects we are talking about. When you are present on my speaking club, you learn more and you see things for yourself. You see things that, that you find important and you strengthen yourself from the inside. So that's a benefit for, for, for being at my speaking club. Also, when you come to my personal matchmaking consultation or coaching, relationship coaching session, we look at you, who you are, what you want, why you want this exact thing and how you can get it in the most effective way. And who can be that person that can strengthen you and you can be a couple. So, I also invite you to my personal matchmaking or coaching session to learn more about Ukrainian women, to learn more who of the Ukrainian women match your relationship expectations. And I'm here to create couples. And you are watching this video because you want to learn more about relationship, strengthen your existing relations, or create the new ones. So, please join my following speaking clubs every two weeks. I have them. And Let's talk more and let's make your life absolutely amazing because this is why we live in this beautiful world. Do you agree?